Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre Manchester and we've got the new Cobra line. These are the drivers that have come out and are quite exciting. I've just tried the new Cobra Fly Z. I have to say Z, not Z. Z for the, uh, for the American audience. Um, that was very impressive, so go and check out my channel, guys. That's the, the one where you can actually change the weight of the back. So you can't change the centre of gravity. Then we've got the plus. Let me put that down. If you've not checked that out, please do go and check it out because some very impressive numbers. And this is the Fly Z Plus. First off, love the head cover. I'm a big head cover fan, me. I like head covers. Um, I've got this in the orange head, but it comes in different colours. I would probably prefer it in a slightly less bold colour, but that's just preference. You might sometimes like it in that. And this has got the centre of gravity where you can change it from the front to the back and from the back to the front. It's kind of, what do they call it? Flip zone very clever idea so it's the waiting where you can change the center, center of gravity so guys again other drivers have done this where center of gravity has gone forward spin comes down so for a custom fitting option this is great it's really really clever way of doing it you could change the loft then that would suit a certain certain spin rate possibly um, it comes in the adjustability in this in the uh, loft option and the flight slightly as well you can turn it into a draw driver it goes from eight and a half degrees up to eleven and a half degrees in one head setting which i think is pretty impressive i've got this in the same matrix extra stiff shaft that i tried in the fly z um, because my club head speed is up to like 112 now this shaft is really offering me lots of feel and lots of good forgiveness so and it's also this this driver as well the, the uh, fly z and the fly z plus has got this little speed channel so this is a this is a border that goes around the club face around the right on the parameter of the club face which is helping maximize club head speed a uh, ball speed sorry on miss struck golf shots so if you don't hit the middle you're still not going to get punished you're still going to generate quite a little ball quite a lot of ball speed what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to hit three golf shots with the center of gravity forward i'm going to switch it around stick it in the back and let's see what changes does it change does it make a big difference we shall see. I'm hitting real golf balls on GC2 on the simulator software. And this, straight away from the above view, it's a smaller head. It's not as big and bold. Maybe even the colouring might be different on that. It doesn't look quite as strongly coloured on that. So it might just be the fact that it's got that slightly different colour. So it might not be as big. But you know what? Again, it probably wouldn't be for me. I would like the, the dark finish on that. Right, let's get hit in a few shots. That is honestly complete preference. So this is central gravity forward. So we should expect low spin. I've lofted it to 10 degrees. Let's see how it performs. Wow, that performed well. Oh. Oh. Wow. And <laughs> I tell you what, that, that felt absolutely amazing. That honestly did feel amazing. The spin has dropped. The spin has dropped by 300 from just from the Fly Z. Wow, that, honestly, that did feel really good. It sounded great. It did sound great. I've hit the middle. Good performance. Oof. Yeah, nice. That, that's, that's quite a nice start. Let me, let me get myself set. I don't want to, uh, don't want to get too excited on that. That felt really good. Should be another good shot again. A little bit of draw on it. Probably a little bit too much draw, I must admit. Yeah, I probably, I'm going to be honest, that probably would have missed the fairway, but yeah, it's still pretty long. Let's see what the spin numbers are again. Oh, amazing spin numbers. 1,500, almost a, bit, almost a bit too low spinning. So possibly, as a custom fit option, I could put more loft in that now to keep it up in the air, but that was a, that was a high hit. It's quite a high shot. Right, I'm going to go one more with this, this weight in the uh, forward position. I don't think that was quite as good a hit. Let's see what let's see how that performs. That was a little bit off the bottom of the face, actually. Let's see how it's performed. It still got up into 290s. Still performed pretty well, considering I didn't absolutely kill that. Has the spin been affected? Yes, it has. It's gone up to 2,900. So let me hit one more, because that was more of a bottom strike. That wasn't really to do with the... Because uh, the reason why I want to hit another one, just because we're checking the spin of these two drivers. So that was a bit off the bottom, so it spun up too high, really. Yeah, that's more like the first two strikes. Just want to keep those spin rates regular. You know, I want to be able to... It was good forgiveness. 
but we're checking the spin as well. Nice hit, over 300. Right, so I'm gonna drop shot number three, keep that last shot. Let's change this around. So this is quite an easy little tool to spin. The weight, you just spin it out, flip it, and spin it into the back. So now this weight has gone, central gravity has gone further back in the head. So I'm gonna hit three more golf shots, try and get the same regularity of strike, and let's see how the spin changes with that weight in the back, whether it does make any change at all, or whether it's a little bit of, a bit of jargon. Let's, let's give it a test. I'm gonna swap this over in a sec. Right guys, so I've put that weight all the way into the back. Uh, I'm gonna be dead honest, I didn't have the GC, the HMT dots on the first three, so we, the club head speed wasn't exactly accurate. So there's a bit of a judgment that, but the ball data would have been exactly the same. So let's hit three shots now with the weight in the back, and let's see if the spin changes at all, hitting it this way. Let's give it a go. So I've got the yellow line over the uh, orange line on this. Felt like a good start. It's gone a bit to the right, I must admit, but felt like a pretty good start. It's come good distance again. See what the spin rates are coming out at. Um, higher. Higher. Brilliant. It's kind of what we wanted to see. And it's definitely come out higher. 500 and that felt nice, like a good strike. Let's get the average over the three. It seems to be launching a little bit higher as well. Seems to be getting up in the sky better. Some big hitting again. This Cobra's making some great, great, great gear here. That was a really nice hit. Uh, spin rate, yep, still higher than the average of the other three. Let's go one more. Yeah, that felt good. So they're three very, almost feels like identical golf shots. Nice big hit. Yeah, not as far as the ones before. So let's have a look at now, if I pull up the chart so we can see with the weight forward position and the weight back position. Let's pull those up so we can have a look. So we see on the screen, <coughs> the red kind of orangey color of the fly, uh, Cobra Fly Z Plus is when the weight was in the middle of the head, lowest uh, center of gravity. Club head speed, I must admit, that was my fault. I didn't have the dots on set, not perfectly accurate, but everything else is perfectly accurate. We're going to run off along the way. We'll have a look at some carry distances first. So, 280 yard carry distance, very, very, very healthy. Good hitting. Average carry, average total distance, 305. It's one of the longest I've ever hit on average. It really is. That's very, very, very solid numbers. And for me, the spin rate was excellent. The spin rate was 2,000 and eight. So average at 2008 spin rate with a launch angle of 16 degrees. That's a fantastic recipe for distance. It really is. I put then the weight back. So these are in the yellow column now. The club head speed is accurate on that because I, I put the dots on, my error. But everything else again is the same. So we have a look at, along the column again. Carry distance only two yards less, 278. Total distance 298. So a little bit less distance, but not much. Uh, felt easy to hit still in both settings, but the spin was different. The spin was 400 revs per minute different, higher, which is great. It's kind of what we want to see. It's technology that works. It's technology that works. Uh, the launch angle was higher, averaged another degree higher. Um, and the peak height was another, let's have a look. It was actually, it was it averaging 10 yards higher with the weight in the back. So it's doing what it says on the tin. Um, the spin rates got up, like I said. So for me personally, I would have the weight forward. The advantage of having the weight back, it gives you a little bit more forgiveness. So the head doesn't, doesn't twist as much with the weight being as far back. But that's where the custom fitters come into play. You could even change the loft, you could have a little tweak with that. But I think they've made, well, I know they've made a fantastic driver in this. In a, in a club head that has adjustability, but not, not massive amounts of adjustability. Doesn't bamboozle you with information. Speed channel, I think makes sense. Even though I didn't hit any massively off the bottom, that third shot, maybe in the, uh, the weight forward was a little bit of an indicator of that, but it still went a long way. Um, I, would, I wouldn't have it in orange, but that's just my preference. And I think it's a driver that's definitely gonna be one that needs to be tested, guys, if you're looking for a driver with distance. Cobra makes some long hitting clubs, they really do. So I think the Cobra Fly Z Plus and the Fly Z is definitely ones you should put on the wish list to try. Um, I would definitely have the Fly Z Plus. I would definitely have it in the bag. I would have it in black though. So 
So Colby, if you're listening, <laughs> wait forward and I've that setting. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Do comment down below if you tried Cobra Club, Clubs in the past. Is it something that you want to look into? Definitely. They've only really got one flagship player up there now, which is Ricky Fowler. So since pull to left, they've only really got Ricky Fowler now flying the flag. So that's where the oranges come from. Uh, let us know, subscribe, check out the flies if you didn't, didn't before. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.